Hi, this is Talon Jane. This is my FTE 211 week six assignment. Today's date is August 25th. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. We don't got a lot of time. Now we're supposed to assess the sear before breaking this down. What we're looking for is that um, either neutral or positive engagement and it's very crisp. Uh, from what I could tell on the outside of the firearm, this ear has a good engagement, uh, but we'll know more once we get into it. For this next part, we have to assess the fit of three different components. My first component by random number generator is ironically the hammer and sear fit. To do this, I used calipers to find the size of the screws, or the pins rather, and I'm going to use drill bits to put those into the frame and then grabbing a piece of paper I'm going to put these on here oops in the orientation they are and by examining with a light and a magnifying glass I'm able to see that we have a very positive oops we have a very positive to neutral connection with no space inside of there. So that's a good fit for the hammer and sear. My next random number generator is the barrel bushing. So we're going to check the barrel bushing to the barrel. Uh, for this, we want a snug fit that doesn't wobble around inside of there. Um, I wouldn't want to polish this one. It feels really good. But that's got a good fit inside of there. Our final component to assess is the trigger fit. Um, basically what we're doing is making sure it's free floating inside of here. It feels a little bit gritty. Um, there's not a lot of play backwards and forwards, but there's a little tiny bit and a little bit upwards and downwards. So overall, uh, this can be addressed with polishing or replacing the trigger. In order to address the trigger issues that we had before, we have a Wilson Combat Trigger Ultralight Match Trigger. These are adjustable, so we can adjust the take up and we will check the fitment of this. Which I can already tell it's a lot it, there's a lot less grittiness to it, probably because of the painted surface that's on this one. And so uh, we'll know more about the take up adjustment, but that can be done while the gun's together after we put it together or whatever. So we'll be using this trigger to replace the other one. To do the functions check, we're gonna use snap caps. We're gonna load those in. Seating and chambering, we're gonna put the safety off, or safety on rather, pull the trigger, nothing happens. Grip the safety, nothing happens. Take this off, pull the trigger, nothing happens. Grip safety plus this off, pull the trigger. Now we're going to uh, do the extracting and ejecting. Listen for the reset. And we're gonna do it again. And you can hear, I mean, this trigger is much, much smoother, cleaner. Everything feels tighter and smoother. Locks to the rear, checks. That completes that portion. For our final test, we're gonna use this rawhide mallet. Um, we're going to uh, keep it uh, off safety, um, or put the safety on rather. We're going to uh, give it some wax in different areas. Nothing happens, take the safety off. Around the hammer on the sides. Nothing happens. Even gripping the one safety. Nothing happens. Pull the trigger and it fires. So that completes our drop test. 